and we are going to eat in Yana's place. Tonight we are eating at Karetta Karetta. Right, this time round we're going to try Allegria Brasserie. This episode is the first part of a deeper dive into some of Dalian's restaurants. In this particular episode we're going to focus on three of Dalian's higher rated restaurants. We'll be giving you reviews of our food and experience. So sit back and relax as we take you on this culinary delight. Tonight we are down by the River Dalian and we are going to eat in Yena's place. This is another place that's had quite a few recommendations on some of the Dalian forums. So we're going to test out the food in here and get Jackie's opinion on the food. Can't wait for the starving. We've had nothing to eat pretty much all day today other than a few frutellas, <laughs> some peanuts in a pub and some pretzels so we're starving. So looking forward to this. Yes, come to Yena. <laughs> You make it good for you. <laughs> you <know, stay. laughs> There's quite an extensive menu here. Uh, we've just gone like pretty basic tonight, so I've gone for just a chicken on a skewer, which is Turkish, and Jackie's gone for a chicken with mushroom. Is it like a mushroom sauce? I think it's like a mushroom sauce. Yeah. Then yeah. um, just got cheese rolls to start. There's it's a probably guy. like a, a Greek type thing, but we'll let you know how these are. And like I say, the staff are lovely, really welcoming. Come in, shake your hand when you come in, ask your name. Just really good customer service. Got some wine, the wine's really nice. Like I say, lovely setting here right on the river. We'll just wait for the starters to come out and we'll get Chatty's views on the starters. Balloon bread looks even bigger than last night. We have... I'm assuming it's like a yogurt. It's like a, like a tzatziki kind of thing, isn't it? Again. Mm. And then I'm not sure what that is, but... It's like chili-ish. It's like chili-ish, yeah, Mexican yeah. Let's see what you think of this then. Yeah. It's huge. Will I try some of this? Try the dip. dip. Maybe be careful. Yeah. Like tomato or salt, have you quite nice. I thought it might have been spicy, that. Yeah, I did. I was thinking. It was going to be look like quite yeah. chilly ish. No, it's probably like yeah, it's salsa. That yogurt dip, uh, is yeah. that any also, good? Also nice. Is it like satsuki or? Mm, it's not quite as garlicky as it's like a slimmed down version of it. Yeah. Oh, well, that one spreads better. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. And try the little cheese roll. Cheese roll, which has got feta cheese inside. Yeah. Gets your recommendation. Yeah. Good bread, good Not cheese bread. rolls. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the dips are lovely, aren't they? Good starter. Mm. Lovely. Bread was lovely. Bread was huge. Mm. I love the salsa we dip. Yeah, it was there. very nice. And it was like, had a little bit of a kick to it as well, which was a surprise. The yogurt was good. Cheese balls were really nice as well. Yeah. Good, good start. Good start. Good start. Mm. 
Let's try this meal. It's like char-grilled. Oh yeah, yeah I like it when it's nice. char-grilled. Mm -hmm. Sauce is sweet but nice and the mushrooms are really nice as well. So it's chips-like? Mm. Yeah, good. Like, fries? Like chips. Oh, all right, yeah. Right. Yeah, they were good. I like that I just got a little bit of rice because I don't like the rice. Yeah, I know. All, all really tasty. It's quite a... It's quite a bit, big, bit, big, bit of chicken, well. yeah. Loads of it's mushrooms. Really and you've got a little guest. <laughs> Skewer, which is two skewers, got some chips, rice, and a bit of salad. And we're being distracted because there's an otter <laughs> keeps swimming around and popping his head up, so we've been looking at that. It's probably cold now. It's a chicken cooked nice. Oh, he's back. Otter. Otter. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it looks really nice to cook. So try this with the rice. Mm. Oh yeah, chicken like really tender. Comes on like a little kind of flat bread. It's like yeah, it's char grilled. Mmm, mmm, chicken's beautiful. It's like cook at perfection. It's got like a pickle or a chili. Mmm, that's beautiful. Good. As well. Yeah. <laughs> that's been char grilled as well. But, yeah, beautiful. Really good. So is it gone? I am. It was very, very nice. It was so full. have been joined by three or four guests. Uh, cat, two yes, dogs, we've got cat, otter. Two dogs, otter. All going on tonight. <laughs> that was good food. <laughs> Spot on. Good food. So we'll finish up here. We'll get the bill paid. We'll let you know how much it is and we'll give you our thoughts on Yenna's place. That was Yenna's place, which is right by the river. We were Peloid yesterday, and it's just across it, like a little kind of square bit of land. Just come across Yenna's right on the river. It's one of the first restaurants you get there as you walk down. So yeah, that was that was really good. At the time of recording this, we went to the White House last night, which was our first night. This is our second night now. So this is the second meal we've had, and it's been really, really good, wasn't it? it was mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. Night two. Also good. Yeah. Again, stuff. Just the setting as well was great. Like you say, we've we've seen otters. We've actually seen a massive turtle go <laughs> we've past. Had all the animals yeah, yeah, it's been like Doctor Doolittle. But we're just we sat there and this huge turtle just went past. And I was trying to get me phone and film it, but it was gone by the time I got it. And it was, but it was huge, wasn't it? It was massive. So we've had it all. We've had dogs sitting with with cats, everything, which might not be some people's cup of tea. Say, but yeah, but. You know, it's all the street dogs and that are like really, really friendly, aren't they? Yeah. And some dogs just like go about their own business, but they're lovely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, getting back to the restaurant, like again, the setting's lovely. The food was excellent. Uh, the starter was lovely. we was just so full after that. Like yeah. ugh, it was really filling. I had like two skewers, and the chicken was just cooked perfectly. Your chicken was nice, I've yeah, tried chatties. Yeah, it was like, yeah, it was really thick as well, yeah, mushroom sauce was um, nice. Oh, Had was a little it? bit of a kick as well to it. Did it? Mm -hmm, I did. Well, I never, yeah. never sampled that. Mm -hmm. But there was loads of mushrooms on it. Oh yeah, and the sauce was, on. The sauce was really Just creamy. a nice little amount of like chips and rice as well. Yeah, yeah. really, really like, filling. Really filling, yeah. yeah. So that's another big recommendation of ours. And like I say, at the moment we've only been to two restaurants. Yeah. So we might be a bit out of sync on the video, but that's Yenna's place anyway, yeah. so... Two out two. Two out two jetties. No, no, no. <laughs> no. So how many jetties out of five for Yenna's place? Um, I will give it... Uh, four. Four. Yes. 
Right. That's a good four. Mm -hmm. It's just obviously last night I gave the White House four and a half. I think you said the balloon bread was a little bit better at Just White because House? I had the sesame seed on it, I like yeah. the sesame seed. Yeah, that did apart from that, it was it was the massive. one in here was massive. And it, 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 it was lovely yeah. to dunk it as well. And the nice, dips yeah. were probably better here though. Di yeah, I prefer the dips here, yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that was excellent. It was just purely like choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, really good. Yeah. No faults. So, yeah, no faults with the food so far. It's all been very, very good. Tonight we are eating at Coretta Coretta, which is opposite the ancient tombs of the kings. We've got a lovely view here. It's all lit up. We're right on the river. It's quite a nice ambiance about the place. It's it's not too loud music-wise. It's not that busy down this way. So we've come down the main street, and then there's a little cut right at the bottom past the bar called Rumours and there's a load of restaurants and stuff here which you come in the back and you're basically on the river yeah so this is there is yeah so I think this restaurant is very much more based Turkish wise in terms of food so we've got our bread we're going to try this out and we'll get Jackie's review on it This is the balloon bread. It's huge. It's big again, yeah. It's probably the biggest huge. one I've had. Yeah, I'm a little hot at the moment. Mm -hmm. But we've only got one dip with this one. Yeah. It's clearly just come out of here. Well, that's good that it's fresh, Jay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Melt the butter straight away. Good. How is it in comparison to the others we've had? Mm, that's good. I think we've seen as a one in Yenna's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Good start. Good start. So this is a fried mushroom with onions and garlic. Don't burn your mouth, Jack. I know. I know you're gonna do that. <laughs> Special. Special, but they'll do. I like mushrooms too. And onions and garlic. And onions and garlic, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, so the mains have come out really quick actually after the starters. So I've ordered the kofta meatballs and Jackie's gone for a lamb um, skewer. Yeah. And the portions are huge, really big size. So we've got like a bit of bread, some rice, chips. Then I've obviously got my meatballs and it comes like with a little kind of side salad and Jackie's is exactly the same just with yeah. the lamb yeah. kebab so let's see what these are like so Jackie's gonna try her start starter her main yeah. oh you got two kebabs there yeah I thought I would have got like a little bit of a dip or something mm. don't make the dips in here kid. no must be running on a budget clam looks good uh, yeah it looks alright I mean it's nice dark Oh yeah, I like it's nice. It's very juicy. Yeah, that's how you want it. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Very good, yeah. Damn good. Have a little bit of bread. 
Oh yeah, I've got the bread with it. Kind of yeah, probably. Very good. Chips look a bit more like frozen chips. Yeah. But you never know, they might be alright. Chip. Actually. Good. What's the McGonagall? I don't know what. Oh, yeah. chip spice. <laughs> oh, yeah, chip spice. Oh, it might just be in the last. Ah, oh, right, okay, <laughs> right. A little bit of rice. Uh, and then it's just like, like a little, little stuff. yeah, just some mixed yeah. veg. Crunchy, crunchy veg, yeah. good. Yeah. Get your approval. Yeah. Good so far. So Jamie's go. So Jackie didn't record the initial reaction. <laughs> so I've gone for meatballs, and I've got six meatballs. I think I've already eaten one of them. It comes like on a bit of bread. You get another bit of bread on top. Chips, it's exactly the same kind of layout as Jackie's. Exactly the same. Chips, rice, and like the sides, kind of like vegetable, mixed vegetable, and a bit of uh, tomato. The meatballs are beautiful. Uh, really juicy, really soft, and just so tasty. But absolutely spot on. Try the green pepper, get a bit of bread in with it. Bread's a little tough. Even the bread's like, tastes like char grilled, and the meatballs are just lovely. Really tender. Really tasty. Wait a minute. Can I change the action? So, what would you prefer? Would you prefer a complimentary balloon bread or a complimentary dessert? Yeah, long as it's like. <laughs> <laughs> So that was Caretta. <clears throat> Caretta. What did you think of that? Uh, it was fine. It was lovely. Mm -hmm. We heard mixed reviews. Well, I'd seen mixed reviews. Yeah. On yeah. Just yeah. Chips, chips, chips advisor. advisor. <laughs> I think that wine's gone chips. yet. Yeah. <laughs> chips, um, chips advisor. Mixed reviews on TripAdvisor. Mm -hmm. But um, it was absolutely fine. Yeah, it was, it was right. good. I enjoyed it. Like, I went in with quite low expectations. And even when we saw the menu, it was a bit like, oh God, are we going to really like it yet? I mean, there was quite a few things I would have chosen. I think I was probably more worried about you because you were like... Yeah, I you couldn't weren't... really decide what there wasn't much on the menu that I yeah. personally yeah. would have taken a fancy to that night. But it was good. Like, I mean, pretty standard fare, some of it, with, especially like the chips, the sides kind of oh, mixed yeah, vegetable, wasn't, was everything was kind of like very samey but the food was lovely, like the, the meat was superb for me, I thought it was excellent. Yeah, my lamb is uh, lovely. Yeah, and like I say, the bread was good, the wine was really good and it was a bit more expensive but the bottle we got was actually a litre. We got a litre, we didn't, didn't expect didn't that. Didn't expect yeah. that, so when it came out it was like, that looks like a massive bottle and it was actually a litre bottle of wine and it was really good actually the wine was it was excellent I would say it was so to be fair I think the wine was 5 60 but other players have been paying just for a normal bottle of wine it's like 480 yeah so, so it works out so about £17.50 I suppose for a litre bottle of wine yeah, it's probably it's okay right. so the bill was probably a bit more expensive than expected but again you're we'll paying for the location that, though, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's a little bit out of the way from like the main kind of strip and there's loads of, I mean, there's loads of competition down here because everything's based on the river. It looks like it might have been there quite a few years. But it's got that, like, kind of rustic feel about it, hasn't it? It's, it's mm -hmm. quite nice. It was nice down by the river. There's loads of life in the river. There's fish swimming around. And yeah. I was just saying to Jack, it's probably a perfect location, really, because there's some really posh restaurants along here. But that, location-wise, is excellent because you're directly opposite the tombs there, which are lit up mm -hmm. at night time. And... They've probably got a prime, prime position there. Yeah. I'm not going to say it's my favourite so far. It's probably the least favourite. That's only yeah, the third restaurant we've eaten. It, well, it's the only the third restaurant we've been into. The location was lovely. I do think that it is overpriced for what yeah, it yeah. is. Mm -hmm. But, again, you're paying for the location, I Absolutely. suppose. But there's other restaurants that are on, on, on there that are yeah. cheaper. So. Exactly. But, but, yeah, it, it, it is worth it. A visit if you want to, but yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The meals that we had anyway were all right. We're good, we're good. We're like I say, we're full. There was plenty of food there. The, the, like, the bread was great. 
You only got one dip, which we've had other dips with, like the ones we've had in other restaurants. Wasn't restaurant, a dip? It was just but, the butter. Yeah. Um, got no, there's no dips. <laughs> the starter was okay. It wasn't the greatest, but it was it was nice. It was all right. I've got no complaints really. How many jatties out of five for that? Ooh, I'm torn. All right, now the embruglia. <laughs> Uh, mm, four, 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 four. Well, that's a good rating, actually. Yeah, I'd probably agree. I was maybe thinking about three and a half. Uh, yeah, I was going three and a half, but then. But it was fine. Wise, it was yeah. fine. It was no. good. It was good. Okay, so that was Coretta Coretta. I would, I would say go if you're here and you're down here and kind of off the strip a bit, and you want to try somewhere on the river, somewhere a little bit different, and you want a location opposite the tombs, go to Coretta Coretta. It was good enough. Right, this time round we're going to try Allegria Brasserie with game which is past Caretta Caretta, so at the bottom of the main strip. You've got rumours and you cut down the back and all these places are along the river. So we've tried one or two here now. We're going to try Allegria because we've had a lot of recommendations for this place, it's meant to be really good. So we're going to go inside and check it out. It's a really nice place and I think some of the prices reflect that as well, which we expected so it's not a problem. But the menu is a little bit different as well so I'm quite looking forward to this because some of the dishes on there look really tasty. So I'm looking at like a Thai sliced beef dish and Jack is looking at salmon. So for starter we've ordered a fried occasion chicken, not sure I've said that right but it's literally it's like chicken uh, with chilli with chili and walnut sauce. So that sounds quite interesting, so let's see what the food's like here. Looks nice so far. It is, and you're next to a fan. I'm right next to a fan. Doing your Marilyn Monroe. I know, Nanny <laughs> Dave and I can't How's the wine? Uh, mine, is, mine is nice. Yeah, nice. Got a nice wine. All the wines have been um, mm -hmm. spot on, mm -hmm. So a change from balloon bread today. We have normal bread. Butter, olives and I'm not sure what this is. It might just be olive oil or something. Yeah. Is it frozen the butter? Good. Looks like a fish cake. Fish cake. It just tastes like a fish cake. Yeah. Obviously it's not fish. Chicken cake. Chicken cake. Is it not beef? No, it's chicken. Fried chicken. How is it? It's it's quite nice actually. Yeah. But it's just it's like, got, like a fish cake. Yeah. It does look like a fish cake. Yeah. Is it tasty? What's the sweet chili sauce like? Is that it's kind of like in the on the better lettuce and underneath? Yeah, it's underneath. Good. This gets jacked up. Looks like kind 
they're like minced chicken or something. It said it was shredded. Yeah, we got like the, the texture of the wall that's in there. Yeah, it is. Fish cake, isn't it? Quite straight consistency, isn't it? No, I thought that would have been a bit more yeah. chili dip, yeah. It's nice and crispy on the outside, also. There's plenty of breadcrumbs on there. It's nice and thick. Good. Let's see what Jackie's salmon is like. It's quite thick, it's quite a big piece of salmon. Quite a big chunk of salmon. We've got one whole big potato there. It's like a boiled potato, I think. Uh, yeah, I thought it was like a creamy potato, like mashed potato. Um, we've got some spinach and walnuts. Oh yeah, underneath, yeah. So it comes like on a on a bed of walnut and spinach. It's very garlicky. I can smell it actually. Yeah, it smell the garlic. Stinking it. Uh, yeah, no, it's lovely. Really nice. Salmon cooked Dead well. Salmon's cooked lovely, yeah. Potato. Are you soon boiled? <laughs> yeah, it'll be boiled. Yeah, it's just a normal potato. Yeah. Well, that looks good. Jamie's looks. Pretty so, yeah. good. Bit jealous of it actually. So this looks like a whole steak sliced and put it on a bed of noodles. It's like in a Thai sauce with Thai spices. And there's lo loads of sesame seeds on there. So I've gotten this medium. I've got the noodles. You can see all the spices on it. Plenty of sesame seeds. As you can see there, it's medium. Quite subtle, it's not overpowering. It's a Thai flavour. The noodles are lovely and soft. The sauce is lovely. And the beef is cooked beautifully. I think you like this guy. Yeah, this, this is brilliant. I'm already eyeing it up. <laughs> Bit disappointed, we've just finished our mains. We have been given a free dessert, well, one free dessert out of the two. But we'll finish up in here and we'll explain why outside. I'm sure these will probably be good. In fact, we'll probably review the dessert as well because they sound quite good. So, Jackie's getting a chocolate brownie and I'm getting something called the San Sebastian cheesecake. So, I'm not sure what that is, but Let's give it a try and see what it's like. But nice of them to come across and like acknowledge that Jackie's food wasn't quite right, but we'll, we'll tell you why when we get outside. So Jackie loves a free dessert, and look at the size of that. Quite thick, isn't it? Got some ice cream on that. Ice cream on it, yeah. Good. Yeah. Tastes even better because it's free. To be fair, I would have had a dessert in it. It's beautiful. Mine is new hair. So Jamie's got cheesecake. So it looks like the baked cheesecake. One thing we must mention is that the desserts are all homemade here as well. So it's all the cakes and everything homemade. So let's try this. This is the San Sebastian cheesecake. It looks like it's like a strawberry sauce that's been drizzled over the plate. Really, really light. The strawberry sauce with the cheesecake is light, fluffy. Oh, it's, lovely. it's got a lovely consistency to it. And it's quite thick. Oh, it's really nice. Really nice. Get my seal. Bye. Okay. 
Okay, that was Allegria Brasserie, which uh, did come recommended by a lot of people on some of the Dalian forums on Facebook. Let's just explain why we're a little bit disappointed. Well, well Jackie will explain because it was your food that was probably oh, the most yeah. disappointing. Sadly, my salmon was cooked on one side and not on the other. But okay, yeah, it started on the side that was cooked. And obviously, otherwise, I would have said at the time, but... Yeah, so that was a bit disappointing. Yeah. Um, so we had half a salmon. <laughs> but fair play to them. I mean, that acknowledged that you know what we did. Kind of mention it to them inside, yeah, it and they came over. And the guy who came over actually looked a bit surprised as well, because when he seen it, he was a bit like taken back, because it was very pink inside, and you could tell it was cooked on the top, but like the middle was like it was a massive piece, wasn't it? Like, yeah, it was a big chunk. Yeah, it was, oh, yeah. it was quite quite a thick salmon. Yeah. So why? It's the same because the half I did have was lovely. Yeah, um, <laughs> it was really nice. But it was, like a lot. Yeah, so was a little bit disappointing like my steak had fat on a bit but to be fair it was a sirloin I can't remember actually seeing that on the menu if I'd seen no, it it didn't say it just said steak. yeah so I mean I didn't kind of expect that I just thought it might have been like a bit of a fillet steak or whatever I mean don't don't get us wrong the food was nice it's a lovely restaurant, the staff are oh, lovely. It's a beautiful restaurant. And fair play to them, they came over and they gave a free dessert. One of the desserts was free, which was the cheesecake, which I ended up having. And Jackie had the brownie. So it was nice of them to do <laughs> that because the. I'm not. I'm <laughs> not. But I mean, both were lovely. I, I, yeah, I love the, the cheesecake, it was, was lovely, it was really nice. Homemade and, as well, yeah. They mm -hmm. make, uh, the, you see them next to the owner, she yeah. so makes them, she says, yeah. But they were beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good. It's so, lovely. it was, yeah. Like, everything was nice. The wine, I mean, it's a lovely restaurant. Um, it's lovely inside, like, it's like a little boutique kind of place. It's, it is really, really nice inside. Like I said, the staff are spot on. Probably pricey-ish, but we kind of it's expected less, it's that. It's the most yeah. expensive one we've had. I think we've had so far. Yeah, yeah. And probably, maybe it's the most disappointing because I thought this place would have been like really, really good. And like I said, the food was good. It just a little bit disappointing. Again, it might just be what we chose. Yeah, well, like I said, mine was the half Fine. that I had was, was nice. Um, it was just a nice size portion as well. Cause yeah. Some of them, yeah. been, the food's been great, but it's just been like too much. Portion, yeah, yeah, just too, too much. much. Yeah. Yeah. But wrapping it up anyway, how many jatties out of five are you going to give Allegria Brasserie? It's a hard one, isn't it's it? It's a hard one because I don't want to. Because it wasn't like a bad experience. No. It was just the food was a bit disappointing. Like everything else was fine. If I have to rate it from tonight's food, I'm going to have to unfortunately give it a three and a half. Yeah, I was thinking because three and a half. Because half of my meal wasn't cooked. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's purely the only reason. Um, yeah. And had I tasted the half mm -hmm. that wasn't, mm -hmm. I, I would have said straight away. And they would have probably come over and cooked it again. So had I had, had two Just had unfortunate. Two halves yeah. That were cooked, I would have given it a four easy. Just an unfortunate coincidence. Yeah. That. Just a shame. Yeah. 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 But like I say, they acknowledge it and were absolutely fine. And uh, the staff are lovely. Yeah, I know that fault to be fair. Um, just, you probably can get. Food cheaper, that's mm -hmm. the only thing, but obviously, you're paying for the views and the atmosphere. Yeah. Really. Like I said, the and it has got a lovely people. atmosphere in there as well. It is a nice atmosphere. Yeah, it's such lovely. Food. Everything else is yeah. great in there. For um, the children, there. yeah, it's just really nice. <coughs> so, I do recommend it, but mm. maybe it's not the dishes we've had. But on other nights, the salmon probably would have been fine. Mm. That's what I'm saying, would yeah. just be, yeah. I think, just unfortunate tonight. Yeah, that it's. Um, being us. Yes, <laughs> it always seems to be us. Because everybody else, I could hear them saying yeah, the, 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 the food looks lovely. Um, so yeah. Oh. Right. Anyway, that's Allegria. So yeah, slightly disappointing, but we're still good. We're still good. Yeah, that's the main thing. Pudding is good for um, stuffed after that. In the next episode, we hire a car to leave the town of Dalian for two days to explore what else the region has to offer. First, we head to the Topolar waterfall. So here we are. The water is so clear. We then head into the mountains and the forest of Yervalakshai. But our trip almost comes to a tragic end. 
it absolutely smashed the car up in front of us. Yeah, it's, it's shook us up a bit.